What is up guys, Mr. Who's a Boss here, and this is the Mi Pad 2. Now I'm a little bit late on this one, but it's looking like an amazing iPad alternative. So at just under $150, this is less than half the price of the iPad Mini 4. And while Xiaomi haven't exactly made an official statement about this, it's pretty clear that that's what they're competing against. And I have to say, in terms of the build quality and the visual appeal, they've done an absolutely awesome job at, I would say, probably replicating it. It's thin, it's light, and the metal really elevates it to a whole new level of quality. The glass on the front feels really, really solid too, and it's a pleasure to grip in the hands. On top of that, its lightness means that you can quite easily hold it above your head for a late night reading device. We've also got three capacitive keys on the back, and they work pretty efficiently, but running Android 5.1 I have to say I was a little bit disappointed. Considering the tablet is fairly recent, it should be more up to date than this. Having said that though, it's a very very functional OS. It does look a little bit playful for some people, it's not exactly that sort of clean look that Android is going for, but it's got all the features that you'd probably want, plus a few more, and tons of customization. Dominating the front of the device is its display, and this really is a highlight of the device. It's exactly the same resolution as the iPad Mini 4, and does a fantastic job of replicating the experience. The UI, photos, videos, and games all look great. Speaking of performance, it's actually admirable, but it's not the best I've used for this price. The original Mi Pad actually had the Nvidia Tegra K1 processor, which is about 25% more powerful than the one they've used in the Mi Pad 2, which is an Intel chip. Now this is quite surprising, and this chip, combined with a huge display resolution, means that not every game runs smoothly. It's fine for playing more basic titles, and they look absolutely great on this gorgeous high-res display, but it's just not an ultimate gaming device, which I suppose the same can be said for the iPad Mini. Nonetheless, it's more than fast enough to navigate the UI, browse the internet, and just feel like a really high-end device all round. The dual speakers are a perfect match for the iPad Mini 4. They basically outclass it, they're loud, they're powerful, they're bassy, and they beat out most other tablets full stop. But unfortunately, the camera just can't quite keep up. The 5 megapixel front camera poses no problems whatsoever. I was actually quite happy with it. It has a good level of brightness, exposure, and people actually complimented on it when I tried video calling them. But unfortunately, the rear camera, which is 8 megapixel, just produces slightly dull images. They're not terrible, they're not really lacking in detail, but they're just not very inspiring at all. On the plus side, I really was quite happy with the battery. And even though they've actually managed to cut the size since the actual previous model, it's lasting longer than before, with quite substantially over a day of battery. And with built-in fast charge technology, you shouldn't really have to worry too much about it at all. However, as much as I wish it was, the Mi Pad 2 is not perfect. First of all, it had a couple of problems with the Play Store. You actually have to use a third-party trick to get it installed on the device. Furthermore, there's no support for SD card and only 16GB of internal storage on this device, about 8 of which is usable, which for me was actually plenty. As long as you're not overloading it with music and videos, you should have enough for all the apps you want, but something to bear in mind. But considering it's a budget tablet guys, under £150, the look, the feel, the experience of using the Mi Pad 2 is really beyond words. So overall guys, it's a big thumbs up from me. Thanks a lot for watching, if you enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you slap that like button. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and this is Insanely Cool Tech.